Hi, I'm Ash at Arkham Armory, and today we're going to be putting together the Keaton Armour Kit. This kit's available on our Etsy store, as well as by contacting us on Instagram or Facebook. All the parts for the kit are already pre-cut and any lines are engraved into them. So you can either pop out all the parts now or pop them out as you follow along with the video. We will be starting with the abs. So with the ab piece, the lines that are engraved, that's going to be on the inside. So what you want to do is take a knife and just run it along all those edges just to slightly deepen the cup but not go all the way through make sure that your blade is as sharp as it possibly can be when cutting foam otherwise it'll snag obviously this is on the inside so you're not going to see it at all but you don't want any any rough edges so make sure your blade's nice and sharp before you run it around once it's all cut out like that you can see it's a little bit deeper we're going to get the heat gun and heat both sides of the foam while it's nice and malleable and hot i'm going to use my fingers to press in each of the ab shapes so it's just stretching the foam ever so slightly with each one you might have to reheat the foam and you'll find that it'll dip a little bit back where you've uh, already heated but if you keep working each of the abs you'll eventually get a nice ab shape just keep pressing each of the abs going back and forth across all of them for some of the larger ab sections you might want to get something round to press into the foam um, I'm literally using the lid from a laundry detergent bottle um, a small plastic ball or your knee would even work for the larger ones um, and you just press that in you can use your fingers for all of them that's not a problem but on the bigger ones to get a more rounded shape something like that does help. I've also got a large polystyrene ball wrapped in tin foil that I use on larger uh, heat forming, but for this smaller, smaller piece, that lid is perfect. And once that's done, if you flip it over, you can see that the abs are starting to form. Now, the reason that we've run our blade along those lines that are already engraved in is so that we can open it up and pump hot glue into the uh, the recess that we've made hold it ever so slightly open while the glue is drying um, you can use water and your finger to cool, make it cool a little bit quicker I don't advise this as you can burn your fingers um, once each part is cooled move on to the next work one your way along each of those lines of the abs until the entire thing is glued up once you've completed that you might find that it's curling slightly but you can use the heat gun to flatten the edges back down but now the abs are really defined you've got a nice solid crease in between each one so now you just have to repeat that process for the other side so after we've hit copy and paste on that it's time to glue these together we'll be using contact cement the way contact cement works is you apply a thin layer to both edges leave it for between five to ten minutes and then press the pieces together i put my contact cement in one of these um, ketchup or mustard dispensing bottles I found them at the range it was a pack of two and I think it was either a pound or one pound fifty for the two and it's perfect for applying the contact cement 
especially along the thinner edges. And after about five minutes, it's time to stick them together. So start at either the top or the bottom and just press them together. Because of the curve of the, the abs, you can do the top and then move down to the bottom um, and just pinch them together, make sure that it's nice and smooth. Once you've got the top and the bottom together, I like to flip it over and use the smooth flat edge of the table and that really helps line the two edges up. Moving on to the chest parts, we're going to heat form these. So I'm going to use my large polystyrene ball, heat up the foam and then wrap it around the polystyrene ball to give it a nice curved shape. With the thinner parts, you can heat this up and just use your hands to curve it because you want to curve it in both directions. And then we just want to glue the darts together first before we move on to glue the parts together. So I'll start by gluing the main pieces of the chest together and it's always useful to have a few bits of the scrap foam on hand to help spread out the glue. So I'll start off by gluing the two halves together for both the large piece and then the thinner piece and then once these are glued together we glue those two parts together starting in the middle and working your way out you can use the flat of the table again to make sure that everything's lining up nicely now those glued together we just want to heat form and make it a little bit more rounded on those chest pieces. I'm using a R2D2 head dome part um, for this as it's not quite as big as my polystyrene ball. Then we attach the chest to the abs, again starting in the middle and working our way out. The next part we'll be attaching are the sides for the front. You want to heat these and give them a nice little curve. And then those are the two top parts that will be attaching it to the back. After applying contact cement to both parts and letting it dry for five minutes, it's time to just press those into place. And once they're all pressed into place, you should have something that looks like this. And then it is on to the back three sections. So we heat form them as before, give them a nice curve to conform with the shape of your back. And then apply contact cement to both edges and press them together firmly. Start at one end, use the table edge to keep the seams nice and together. Now that you've got the front and back of the torso all together, it's time to glue these halves together using those strap pieces. You can also reinforce any of the seams using scrap pieces of foam. To glue the emblem together, you just take the three parts and it's already inscribed on the base piece where these line up. For applying the glue on the emblem, if you take a scrap piece of foam and cut it to a point, it'll make it a lot easier when getting into some of the, uh, the tighter areas, because you want to keep the glue only where it's touching you don't want any showing in any of the other areas and once it's glued up it's time to press these 
pieces into place. If you've got a steady hand, you can wait the five minutes for the glue to dry, or you can apply it straight away and you've got a bit more breathing space then for applying each piece, especially the one around the edge, as you want that to be as tight to the edge as possible. But you can always run a sanding block around just to smooth it out and make it look like one piece. Moving on to the shoulder pieces, what we're going to do is heat form these. So if you put them with the shoulder that they're going with and heat them up and curve them on your polystyrene ball or whatever it is you're using to curve your parts with. And once these parts are nice and curved, just throw them at each other and they should stick together. Or if you're not using the magic of YouTube, you can use contact cement and wait five minutes. You should have something that looks like this. For the biceps, you wanna follow the same process we did for the abs, just run your blade along. But before we heat form the muscle, just give it a little roll to uh, conform a little bit more to the shape of your arm. And once you've heat formed the muscle and applied hot glue, you should have something that looks like this. Depending on the size of your arms, you can glue the two halves together, or if you need something slightly bigger, you can use a piece of foam to enlarge it. I prefer to apply a strip of elastic on the inside so that it's got a little bit more give to it. If you're going with the elastic, what you want to do after you cut it is just use a lighter to singe the edges and that just seals it. And then get a sharpie and just mark on the inside where the elastic comes to and that's where you'll apply your contact cement. Once you've let it dry for five minutes it's time to press them together. Press them nice and tight when using the elastic and you can cover the inside with a small piece of um, scrap foam if you want to reinforce that. And there you have it, that's all the parts now put together. Then it's on to smoothing out all those seams. To blend the seams, I'm using a cheap um, painter's cork. The beauty of the painter's cork is you can use water to smooth it out and it's also sandable once it dries. It does take about 24 hours to dry though. And then it's onto the painting. I like to use Hexflex seal and primer um, for this one, especially as it comes in black. So after three coats of the seal primer, your painting's completely done and you have a lovely smooth surface. It's available from Polyprops we're not sponsored, but we get all the foam from there and everything we've had so far has been top quality. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. For the yellow part of the emblem, you can paint it, but what I'm going to do is mix up a two-part epoxy resin. This is a one-to-one, -one, so one-to-one -one by volume, so you mix exactly the same of part A and part B. I'm using some Games Workshop um, yellow for the colour. You can use inks, but I find that the Games Workshop colours really uh, have a lot of pigment. So just a few drops of the yellow in there, then give it a, a good mix for a solid minute. This is a self-leveling resin. So if you put a small amount in first and push it into all the nooks and crannies, make sure that you get a full coverage over all the flat area and then you can
top it up. If you just pour it in at one end, eventually it will level out, but it might pour over onto the, uh, the detail of the bat. So it's best to just work it round first and then keep adding a little bit more. Once you're happy with the amount of resin you've got, just leave it for 24 hours for it to cure. You can either attach the emblem to the suit itself or if you have a cowl to the cowl. And there you have it. That's how to put together the Arkham Armory Keaton Armour Kit. We also make kits for the Keaton Gauntlets, Cowl and Belt, all available on Etsy, Facebook or Instagram. <laughs>